A plight for people living in an apartment building on Lyle Ave in Rochester tonight. For most of the week now, they've been living without water while they watch sewage spill out into a hole, all because of a demolition project next door. Christian Garzon is live there now. Christian, first off, who ordered the demolition? Well, that's what property owners surrounding this crater want to know. Now, I should point out, this hole here, let's take a look at this real quick. It's right off the sidewalk, and it's seven feet straight down. So please be careful if you're walking down here. There's some orange mesh netting kind of hanging out here, but just be careful. We spoke with people on site earlier who want all the water and sewage issues you mentioned. They want those fixed correctly right away. You can't live like that. It's not health. It's not safety. It's not healthy. Daniel Torres, who owns the yellow building behind this crater, says when the demolition took place, it severed water and sewer lines to his complex. It left his tenants in five apartments without water for three days. The water line was just restored this afternoon with temporary equipment by the city. But now Torres says the sewage is draining out into the hole. You know, nobody's owning up to what's happening, and now I've been just been told that it's going to cost the owner almost $40,000 to reconnect for a problem that we had zero to do with. Carl Polacini, a plumber brought to the site, says the new sewage and water lines will involve digging up an already busy road, a huge project. It's going to have to be engineered now. Yeah. Because we have to have a brand new sewer and a brand new water line all the way out into Lyle Avenue. Residents who wanted to remain anonymous say the sewage is attracting rats and that water restoration today by the city? Um, and it was black water. When they turned the water on, it was black water coming up. We have to put each tenant in a hotel. Gotcha. gotcha. Until the, 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 the situation gets resolved. Both the city and the demolition team were on site and offered no comments. Torres says one of them needs to take responsibility to permanently fix this issue. Issue. We didn't cause it. We didn't ask for it with nothing. It just happened, and the city's just like, I'm sorry, we'll help you as much as we can. Now, I have to point out, we did make an error earlier today. The company residents say did this work, and the company we saw on site today was G. Frederico Wrecking. Uh, that is not the other Frederico company in the city, Frederico Demolition, two different companies altogether. From Lyle Ave, Christian Garzon, News 8, Adam Marine, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. We're going to update this story if we get a response from the city or the demolition team.